This discussion is on logarithms. We're going to apply the different or the basic rules of logs. So let's begin. First rule is the product rule. Logarithm number rule number one, product rule. What it is is it's this one right here, log a is multiplying n times v is equal to log a n plus log a v. There are a couple of ways that you can apply this rule. One of them is to say that you've got a common log, let's say 9, parentheses 2x. Well, you can break this apart and say log 9, 2 plus log 9x. Another way that can be done is you could have, say, log uh, 7, 24. And what you could do is you could break this up in, uh, let's say, log 7. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Log 7. Now, what makes up 24? Uh, 6 and 4. So you can say log 7, 6 plus log 7, 4. Or uh, another equivalent match would be log 7, 3 plus log 7, 8. I guess another equivalent equivalency could be log 2 plus log 7, 12. All of these must equal the equivalent because they all can are a form of log 7, 24 using the product rule. Now, if you notice, there is a comparison of this product rule and logarithms to an exponential uh, rule called the product rule. Do you remember, let's see, x2 times x to the fourth is equal to, now how do we reconcile this? Well, x2 plus 4 equals x to the sixth. Notice multiplying exponents, you end up adding, or multiplying uh, bases with exponents, you end up adding the exponents. Same type of concept here. You have terms that we multiply together, and you end up writing them as logs to add. So it gives a little correlation to um, logarithms and the rules of exponents. Maybe it's a way for you to remember. Rule number two, quotient rule. Quotient rule is this, log a, and then you have a, a parentheses uh, and two variables being divided. They can be written as a subtraction problem. And for the most part, it works pretty much the same way. Uh, let's say that you had a log o2 and 4 over x. You could rewrite this as log 2 4 minus log 2x. Uh, another variation, log 2, we'll use the same log there, and say, um, I think, uh, well, ah, 4. This can be rewritten as log 2, 1, minus, oh, I'm sorry, log 4, minus log 2, 1. It could also be written as log 2, 8, minus log 2, 2. Do you notice what I'm doing? making these into fractions. See, 4 could be the same as 4 over 1 or same as 8 over 2. Another variation could be, well, you can come up with all kinds. Um, 16 over 4 would be the same variation here. So you have log 2, 16 minus log 2, 4. Um, that those are another variation of this rule. Now, there is a match for exponents, uh, for the exponent rules as well, and it's also called, called the quotient rule. 
where you have uh, x to the fourth over x to the third, same basis, you end up subtracting the exponents, which gives you x to the one, or just x. So you see a correlation there. Now notice, with this log, notice that the top, the numerator, always is being subtracted from the denominator. 4 and x, 4 is always your first log, x is always your second, and so on. So keep that in mind. Let's look at rule number 3. Now this is called the power rule. Now the power rule is listed right here. Log A uh, in raised to a power. Now, you can rewrite that as taking that power and multiplying the entire log, and I'm going to put parentheses here just so you can see it, to the entire log, multiplying that V by everything, excuse me, by everything in the parentheses. Um, okay, let's, let's make an application here. Let's say we had log um, 3, uh, and it was um, x3 right there. This could be rewritten as 3 times log 3x. They mean they are equivalent. Another way that you can use this log is let's say we've got log 3, 4. We could rewrite 4 as 2 to the second power, log 3, 2 to the second power. And now notice, because we have that power, we can use this rule and rewrite it this way, times log 3, 2. So, um, now there is also a comparison to the exponent uh, rules called the power rule. And that rule is this. You have a variable or a uh, base raised to a power, which is also raised to a power. Here, we multiply those exponents, x, 4, times 3 equals x to the 12th. Similar to this, notice, here it's raised to a power, and so then we can multiply that, we can rewrite it as multiplying the entire log to that power. So this one has a little bit of a different, not a direct uh, correlation as the other two, but close. So just to, I just give you this information about the exponent to, uh, as a way of helping you make some connections, some um, in your mind some, some links. So, all right. That will conclude this video on logarithm rules. There will be another one, a part two.